We've got some difficult days ahead. But it really doesn't matter with me now. Because I've been to the mountaintop. I don't mind. Like anybody, I would like to live a long life. Longevity has its place. But I'm not concerned about that now. I just want to do God's will. And he's allowed me to go up to the mountain. And I've looked over. And I've seen the promised land. I may not get there with you. But I want you to know the night. That we as a people will get to the promised land.
But do you know how important you are? Do you know that our people slept, lay spoon fashion in the filthy hatches of slave ships, in their own and in each other's excrement and urine and menstrual flow so that you can live 200 years later? Do you know that? Do you know that our people stood on auction blocks so that you could live? He said, I said, no, but I just want to say, when's the last time anyone told you how important you are? And he started, to, to, the tears started to come out. I had no Kleenex or anything, so I just wiped his face with my hands and talked to him. And Miss Janet Jackson came. She said, Angelo, I don't believe you actually talked to Tupac Shakur. I didn't know Tupac Shakur. I didn't know Six Pack. <laughs> I had never heard the name. Because in, in my life and my age group, you understand? It just didn't, I didn't know that. Tupac's mother wrote me a letter. She said her son had called her right after I had spoken to him. And she wanted to thank me. She said, you may have saved his life. 